Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in. I'm currently reporting from the booth of Tesla Suit. Now this is nothing to do with uh, the electric car maker Tesla, but what this suit essentially is, is stuff of amazing, amazing imagination. Now, let me just run you down, uh, run you through exactly what this is. The suit has 60, 60 haptic feedback sensors. Uh, you can see some over here in the abs right here. And they're in the arms, legs, back, neck, everywhere. So um, it has a host of sensors as well over here to give you feedback, to give you... Uh, if, okay, let's just start with the application. Now, the application of suit, a suit like this is, for example, for training people in the police academy or the fire department. So without actually making you run into the fire, you can be put in a virtual environment where the suit simulates the condition of, for example, being in a fire, how close you are, how far you are, or, uh, you know, if you're training for the police academy, then how being shot. Other applications could also include gaming. Now think Ready Player One, essentially. Uh, this is the suit that could make that happen in terms of at least the realistic biofeedback on your body. And pretty cool right now. Uh, the suit has to, of course, be worn on skin. It has to have direct contact with your skin to be calibrated properly. Right now, this is only a B2B product and each suit costs $15,000 along with a proper development kit. So I asked the guys at the booth over here about whether this will be available commercially to consumers soon. And they said it's still some time off primarily because uh, they need to first figure out how to make the suit cheaper, one, and there need to be enough applications out there to generate user interest in it. So pretty cool. It's something that, you know, uh, we should look forward to. Can you imagine playing, let's say, Call of Duty or Battlefield in a suit like this? And you, then you really get to feel the explosions. Then you really get to feel, you know, the bullets flying everywhere. And you really get to feel the heat of the game. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. In case you liked it, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And stay tuned for more coverage from CES. Thank you.